I am the Red Cyclone! Ah! Welcome to another episode of the It Gets Better Ride right Square podcast. I'm your host, Louis Beans, and I'm here with Mike with Mike. What is going on? What's going on? Chilling, chilling, chilling like a villain. Um, trying to stay alive in these strange times, right? Uh, um, so, what stranger than Wing Commander 1999? <laughs> How about that? Um, well, he came up recently um because of up up down down yeah 14 and that's uh the star of this movie freddie prince jr yeah um so it kind, of, it kind of syncs up together with two things going on in our worlds at the same time so that's going to be this week's verdict yep um and that is where we watch these well this time we have a uh, another uh goal and that is video game movies that are you said theatrical only yes. and they have to be live action yes so what we're going to do is we're going to review them so you don't have to because a lot of them are bad like last week yeah <laughs> yeah i mean at least we hit a low early a very 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 low like uh, we saw and reviewed um mortal Kombat annihilation we saw the devil and he waved at us that's how low we went we saw his head morph into a high oh oh you know what i what i what i've learned by watching some of this stuff is early cg is nightmares yeah some of the stuff they tried to make us watch it just was disturbing do you remember because we watched super mario brothers yeah and you know how hard it was to make out what exactly bowser was yeah it was just terrifying and you know you go into mortal kombat annihilation and they had awful cg for the monsters in there yeah um and then and then especially for the the, the animalities terrible yeah things of nightmares that's nightmare fuel. yes go look that up um it looked like sausages fighting a dragon you know like the, the clear kind <laughs> that you don't want to buy yeah. at the meat market because yeah. you know you got to cook it a certain way yeah Stuff. Um, so that was a bad part, but there's something good at Mortal Kombat that's coming our way. That's a good way to segue it to a positive thing. Mortal Kombat Aftermath got announced this week. What is that? So Aftermath is going to be a continuation storyline for the Mortal Kombat 11 game. So, so it's supposed to be right after you finish the game. I don't want to put spoils in case you bought the game and like that, but finish the game. And Aftermath is supposed to continue right after that. And it's supposed to be starring Shang Tsung, the guy that actually played him in the movie. Mm-hmm. He's in you it. He's going to be doing the voice and stuff? Yeah, he's still in it. Yeah, 100%. Uh-huh. And okay. they announced three new characters. And one of them being Detroit's own Robocop. Hey, is that where Midway is from? Uh, I don't think so. I think no, Chicago. 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 Yeah. Okay. Who's their but, hero? The bear know. from the Cubs, Bat- Batman ish, or Superman ish. <laughs> well, Bat. <laughs> I, they... I feel Gotham is more Chicago than Metropolis is. Well, I thought. I thought so. I thought Metropolis had Chicago architecture specifically. Um, it and... was supposed to be a mixture of L.A. and New York Metropolis. Oh, okay, so what? Batman in Chicago and New York? Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, Batman, I guess. And ain't nobody from Detroit? Who Who's the Detroit superhero? Um, The Vibe. Ant-Man? <laughs> the Vibe. <laughs> the Vibe is from, from uh, Cisco? Yeah, he's from Detroit. <laughs> Cisco. Yeah. Uh, I love that I know who that is. Oh, oh man. 
Yeah, the vibe. That's the only one I can That's think him? of. And Robocop. And Eminem. I'll, I'll take Robocop. I, I, he's like <laughs> one of the few pops I have. And Eminem. That's what, that's what all Detroit has. <laughs> and, Arvin, and Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam. Well, he's all from right. Michigan, not Detroit. Well, not exactly Detroit. I get you. Battle you know Creek, what? Michigan. Well, they'll take him. And you know what? If you give me that as the list of Detroit superhero team, I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> Well, anyway, they announced Robocop being in the game. Uh, Peter Liller, uh, Willer is talking him as well. So you had the voice of Robocop as well. Um, I'm excited for it. Um, this is the first time they actually did a continuation of the storyline in the game. So I'm actually cool. I'm actually happy. It's supposed to come out May 28th. Um, you're supposed to get three new characters. Um, Shiva is one, which is the Goro chick. Um, the Wind Ninja is another. She looks like Shrek, actually. Yeah. The Wind Ninja is another. Uh, I forgot his name. It was like Fu- Fuji. Fu- oh, no, he's the God of Wind. He's yeah, the, he's in four. I, and I remember that. He was in now. um the last game he was in was Armageddon. Yeah, that was the last one he was in. I don't know if he was good or not. Neither. I don't, I, I don't remember, but a lot of people were excited for him. And then Robocop just came out of nowhere. I'm like, okay, well, I could do with Robocop. You know, the only sad thing about Robocop being in the game now is that means that there's no chance of striker being in the game yeah <laughs> i'm sad i wanted john cena as striker I'm yeah just, that'd have been cool but you got robocop and you can play you can actually fight robocop versus terminator now yeah that's what i was i you know i saw post that up that was actually uh drew gulag that posted yeah. up. i was like what all right yeah man yeah, so I'm excited for it. Uh, May 28th, um, the pre-order is up now. You can pre-order the pre-order. There you go, pre-order the DLC. I think it's 40 bucks. I think it's 50 bucks with all the old DLC with the new DLC, and then for the full thing, it's like 70 dollars. So it's soon, which is good. Yeah. Um, do they show what RoboCop? Blaze like or is it? Is it they have not showed anything on. Ro- they have not showed gameplay on RoboCop. They just showed his intro, and that was it. Oh, his intro. Okay. But I did see a, a little preview of one of his things that he uses the the pick that's in his hand. Oh, that's as, as something. So, and then also he takes out the gun, so he's going to be using that gun as well. Oh no, he's going to be under dead shot. Uh oh, he's about to get mad. Yep. So, Robocop top tier. Oh yeah. shit! So I'm excited. I'm excited for it. Uh, so Mortal yeah, Kombat I, aftermath. He's broken. I hope he's busted. I hope he comes out. He's like Leroy. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Because nobody wants a whack character. So yeah. that's true. That's better true. be good. So I'm excited for that. I think that was a cool announcement for that. And then there's another announcement um, with Cyberpunk that you could create your own genitals. Well, they said they have stats, and you can customize them. This is what they, this is um, what they said. I, I told Jenkins that his dreams came true, that he could pay, make a female with a penis. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you can do whatever the hell yeah. you want. I mean, oh, they also said there's going to be explicit sex in that game, so yeah. I guess that's the reason why. You know what's weird and, like... Uh, like a lot of people like again you already spent enough time like on creating your characters and now you have even more time this is not the first game that did it either uh, Saints Row was the first game to that you customized oh, yeah, that's true. Um, that's true. but this game itself like the fact that I think it's a first person is going to be a first person game I I, I don't it's... like the fact that you gotta that you can't see your character now if you're going to be customizing all this shit you have to see yourself in a mirror. Uh, you probably have to see you see yourself when you do cutscenes and shit, but I don't think you, it's a first-person game. Well, if you're gonna see your junk, I guess <laughs> you're gonna be able to see that, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What's but it's, uh, I thought like, it was funny news. Like, think about it. What's the point of customizing that if you can't see it? So yeah. I'm sure if you tilt your head down, <laughs> you're gonna you see more of your character's feet. <laughs> Because, like, all right, I know there are games that don't do that. Yeah. I know there are games that you play, and it's just a floating gun. Or you can only see part of the gun or something. Yeah. And I know there are games where, you know, like Borderlands, where you could basically see the character's body if you look down. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it makes sense, question mark, question mark. Well, yeah. well, judging from The Witcher, it's going to be graphic. 
Yeah, but I mean, that's their pedigree, but they also know how to do it right to where people are like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So, so that's going to be fun. On. It's going to be interesting. Uh, interesting. It's a good, it's a good, interesting evolution for video games. Yeah. Good point. Man. Hey, how about that? Hey, why not? Let's see how in depth they make it. Yeah. Um, other news. It is Mother's Day today. I keep forgetting to say. It. I said it, I forgot to say it in the wrestling babble. But I'll oh, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that listen to this cast, or my mama that sometimes listens. She randomly listens to us, and she says, "It's good. It's funny." So, no, well, happy hey. Mother's Day. <laughs> so happy Mother's Day. If you actually notice, if you're watching on YouTube, you see the Blanca and hugging his mama. It's the most iconic ending I could think of that had. A mom and son thing. <laughs> so Blanca hugging his mama. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Uh, this is a quote I always put up on Facebook. It's from the Crow. It's like mothers, the name of God, to the lips and hearts of all children. And that's something that I always describe what a mother is. Like usually they're the strong, the strong household of everything. They don't want to control shit. Makes sense. So yes, happy Mother's Day. And um. On that note, anything else the news-wise before we get into this movie? Uh, uh, they showed the uh, Xbox One had like a little press conference this week. Uh, next, the Xbox One, uh, the Xbox X Series, whatever the fuck it's called. I don't. Know. But they 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 showed some stuff. The only interesting thing that I got from it was people saying that the next generation will not be that impressive. No, I don't think it's gonna be that crazy. That, to that I say good I hope they learn their lesson from this one and stop doing stuff they can't do yeah I'm uh, Microsoft is in a unique uh, position because they are behind but if they are to you know cause because it is a race it always has to be whatever yeah but to get me specifically to care because I skipped the last generation of Xbox I just didn't care yeah and it's not a neg- you know, negative or positive on the system. It's just like it didn't hit. You know, like we were saying about the women's money in the bank match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just whoever hit. wrote the story for the Xbox One last year, I didn't care about that story. Yeah, that makes sense. What I hope they do this year is what, uh, from what I can see from people saying about games in general this generation and what my experience was on PlayStation 4. Yeah. I could tell you a lot of companies made games that were just not ready for yeah. this and they were making it up and and that's why we ended up getting the half steps yeah i hate that i hate that i don't like because that reminds me of phones yeah and i don't part i don't participate in that whole thing because it's yeah. a waste of money and like it's just garbage that's going to end up in a landfill somewhere yeah and so when you turn my console into a phone you fuck me up yeah because I can't be, we, especially not now. Yeah. You can't try to get me to, to pay the, the premium price once and then tell me, eh, two years. Yeah. You're going to pay that price again. Yeah. I think one thing that kind of, sh- that I noticed on the Xbox thing, it wasn't honestly none of the games really like took my eye. Maybe uh, the Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, I'm interested in. Um, the, the the Yakuza like a dragon is actually gonna be the first Yakuza coming out exactly on Xbox as well. Um with the PS4 version instead of having exclusive on PS4 is actually getting it. Um which is good for the Japanese market because you actually could play it. You actually would probably see Xbox being sold in Japan because of that. Um other than that, the one thing I noticed with the whole thing is most of the games are said to be working on both systems. And the fact that if you get one, you're guaranteed to get the other one with your system. So if you buy Assassin's Creed Valhalla on Xbox One, you get the Xbox one X Series one without having to buy another copy. And that's something I noticed with a lot of the games that they showed on that show. Hello? Are you there? I am not sure. Oh shit, our call got disconnected. Okay. Uh, sorry for technical difficulties. I'm gonna try to get the, get him back on. 
Um, give me one second while we're still live. We are still live on this channel. But anyway, um, talking about that, yeah, that was one thing I, I noticed that we had. And um, it's something that could easily be done if done correctly. And it's something that should has it has to be done because honestly if you're buying a brand new system and getting a game and you not be able to play it on the other one it, it is kind of annoying so we're gonna see what we do with that um yeah so we're gonna have a weird cast cast the last couple of minutes or anything like that but yeah they showed those videos they showed um they some of the new games now and, and, and none of the games really shocked again i said the set screen about Hala. uh it looked interesting the rest of the games didn't really care i didn't really care much um but again like the things i did here were shit all right but i was talking about the games the one thing i noticed with the games is the fact that um if you buy one you're gonna get the other one with it so at least they're doing that what do you mean like so if you what? buy like say for instance you buy assassin's creed valhalla for xbox one you're gonna get the xbox series x one like with l charge Okay. So at least cool. they're doing that. And that's something that I noticed that they really made sure that you saw throughout all the games they showed is the fact that it's available on both systems that you'll be able to get the better version with the purchase of one of the games. I mean, that's a good move because I remember when Destiny did that. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> and I think it's, it, it, it's going to be interesting is the fact that there's a lot of things you could do. Uh, especially with Xbox with the Game Pass, like they do have the Game Pass, and I think that's one of the strong keys they have right now is that Game Pass, and yeah. how seamless it does work, and just them, how many things come to it really fast. Yeah. yeah, and you get a lot of the games day one on the just having that membership. So that's something that's actually really good that they have. So it'll be interesting where they go from there. Especially, I know for a fact they're going to be really pushing that Game Pass for the next gen. Yes, I just hope um, that whoever's on there signing up to make games for them just makes some cool and unique stuff that I want to play. I'm still waiting on Battletoads, man. I want to see Battletoads. I, yeah, I mean, it could be what Streets of Rage is, which yeah. is like a totally unique type of beat em up. I'm like, okay, come on. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I w I've been wanting to see, especially with the, the the success of Street of Rage Four right now. I would mm -hmm. I would have liked to see Battletoads in that preview. Yeah, that's true. You're still waiting on that game for quite some time. Don't cancel it. Don't don't you? I hope it. not. I don't think they are. I don't think they are. I hope not. I mean, not Jinxa. Yeah. yeah. At least it's not the same the same scope as uh, Crackdown Three. Yeah. So it's a smaller scope game. It. it it shouldn't cost that much money, right? Yeah. Oh. I hope so. Anyway, let's move on to our verdict. A Wing Commander. Wing Commander. Uh, have you played any of the Wing Commander video games? Uh, I think I played the one on NES. Okay. I, I, say. I have no familiarity with this at all. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I've never seen it. Never. Heard. I've only heard of the movie, and I've only heard of the game through the movie. Meaning, whenever somebody brings up Wing Commander, they usually also bring out the fact that it's from a game. Yeah. That's about it. I've never seen the game in action. I don't believe. I think I played on um, NES. I didn't even know it was that. I thought it was a PC game. That like, but if it goes back that far, I did, wouldn't even know. Um. So, I'm going to completely, uh, completely blind with no expectation for it. So, yeah. maybe that's kind of why I liked it so much. It's like, I didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. I didn't have anything held on me like, you know, this shouldn't be this way. Or these characters shouldn't talk like that. Nah. Like, okay. if I really cared about the story of the Mario Brothers, I would have been upset. <laughs> so, I mean? the game came out on Sega CD, Super NES, 3DO, PlayStation, PlayStation Portable, and Windows 95, Macintosh, FM Towns, MS, DOS, CD32. Yeah, so it came out on everything. 
So Come on, 1992 on NES. So you played the Super Nintendo one? Yes, I played that one. I, I have a feeling I played the Sega CD one. And that would have like cutscenes in it, right? Mm, yeah, but it was it was. I don't. To be honest with you, I can't. I can't remember. Well, so I will only one. say that because I, you know, I thought that was the whole point of the yeah. Sega CD. It was like the only reason you buy th- those versions of any game was to get. Oh my goodness, these are the first cutscenes. Yeah. Without having to buy a 3DL, you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't oh, want that. Lord. I kind of oh, want to see God. the Sega CD one, so I'm looking it up. Have you ever played a 3DL? 3DL? I played it once, and it wasn't good. I see. I had a good experience, but it was too expensive. Yeah. Do you remember the store of the Wiz? Yeah. So I played. I played. Uh, Shinobi. No, the. Hmm. It might have been Shinobi Three. I don't know why they had. Yeah, I played like Shinobi Three. And that's kind of the first time I ever played that game. Okay. And I don't know why it was on that system, but it was good. Yeah. <laughs> it had to have been Revenge of Shinobi. It had to have been, but it was like arcade perfect. Yeah. The only reason I would want to buy that is to get Samurai Showdown, but I don't got that money, that kind of money. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So yeah. If you, if you want to donate a 3DO and a copy of Samurai Showdown, I will take it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you saw it recently. Some dude, like, he just donated his whole Sega, I think it was his whole Sega Saturn collection, like, on Twitter, and just donated to his friend. And it was like, shit, if he was to sell that, it was like thousands of dollars That's and stuff. Good ass like, friend. Like, it was just, a, it was a lot of Japanese imports. And Man, just I need stuff a friend that, like that. Just stuff that didn't come, you know, to the US. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Man, I need a friend like that. Give me some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Sega Saturn. Yeah, I like the Sega Saturn. So, so, Ring Commander came out nineteen ninety nine. That's about a lot. <laughs> um, <coughs> it came out. So, um, the twenty century twenty century Fox. It was uh, directed by Chris Roberts. He we, went on to. We write. deduced he he did other things that people might have heard of yeah um the one that i that caught my eye was who's your caddy <laughs> yeah which i thought was funny but also lord of war which i actually like that movie okay uh and nicholas cage i like the lucky number 11 which he did as well with bruce willis okay morgan freeman seen that. Yeah. yeah okay good movie so yeah he has uh a lot of and also, he's the producer on the actual games. Yeah. Which is interesting. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so, I guess this is like, this is almost like Ed Boone. Yeah. This is like the, the guy who's one of the driving forces behind the game doing the movie. Um, so, I, I mean, I guess to that end, me not knowing what this should be, it was, it was a fairly... Uh, like it was like space opera almost is you know yeah. what I mean like if it had like a top top gun almost feel to it with the way that with the the fighters and the camaraderie and all yeah. that um and the playfulness eventually like uh, uh, like I don't know it just it was, I told you first, my first impression was it was way more dramatic than I was expecting. Okay. It had more uh, personal character moments, like lots of, uh, I guess, just showing you, I guess, the, the, the more personal, personal relationships between each character that that, that they had on screen. Like, yeah. you know, there was, you, you obviously knew who were the main characters and stuff, besides the people on the damn poster. Yeah, <laughs> and on the cover of the DVD, it's got three faces plastered over it. Um, but like, it also like you got to see basically with Matthew uh, Lillard, his character. Mm-hmm. Um, his nickname was Maniac. Yeah, and it was him and uh, the black chick Rosie. Yeah, and like they went and had their whole interrelationship, and you know, like how they were both kind of crazy. Yeah. 
and with combat junkies and stuff like they would nuts out there in the field and that ended up getting one of them killed yeah um like it, it, was, it was a little bit deeper than i was expecting yeah they had some like really deep moments in that sense and like that was like one of the big things when that character like fucked up and he went fucking nuts and was trying to get back out to fucking save her try to save her and it's really fucked up because they all you see is the fucking thing just pushing her off the fucking yeah. ledge and he has to watch that shit. i was like yo, that's, a, yo yeah. why don't you that's... cover his eyes at least god damn that was brutal yeah like ooh. so our stars is freddie prince jr we have matthew lillard um they were actually returned later on as scooby-doo characters fred and and shaggy that's right <laughs> Um, so this is, uh, this is probably after She's All That, which Freddie Prinze Jr. made his big, and that's, that's, that's uh, what, that's what popped, like, his name everywhere. Yeah, like, that and, um, I know you did last summer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so he was in those two movies uh, during sense. this time, so basically he was uh, just getting random starring movies and whatnot. Um... Wasn't he in the parody movies too? Mm, no. You sure he wasn't one of those parody? No. Oh, he was he, no, no. He was in one of the movies that got parody. Yeah. That was so that was, was uh, not another yeah. team movie, and it was Chris Evans yeah. that kind of played Chris him. Chris Evans was parody. Yeah. 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 What was uh, the movie that that character was from? Um, was it she's all that. She's all well. His character was supposed to be from Varsity Blues, James Vanderbeek, and it was supposed to be a mixture of him and. From uh, uh, Freddie Prince okay. Jr. Of She's All That. Okay. Good. But um, Varsity Blues and that. It was both of those movies mixed together. Mm. Okay. Gotcha. Um, yeah. How so... come we can't watch that? <laughs> <laughs> it, oh, um, man. So this is like supposed to be taking place in the future. I don't know what, what year. In you uh, tell two. Me. 2654 interstellar war rages between the Tyrian confederation and a Tari empire uh yeah I know they said the villains were like called the Kilrathi yeah Karathi okay and that's I don't know uh see I didn't know they actually had uh what you would consider to be aliens yeah in this world but yeah they fight these alien cat people they're like yeah. cat yeah. lizards like uh cat like Kirathi seeks to complete eradication of the human race yeah so it's like these and that's kind of the weakest part of the movie for me is just because they look hilarious yeah um the fact that they look hilarious and that whole action scene where they were inside and infiltrating the alien ship yeah it was the most b grade of b grade yeah and that's was. that's that part of the movie was the only part of the movie where it was like they they, they could have just not have shown this and just had a little you know more other people talking on the ship yeah while this happened in the background or something because this was kind of like Ugh. i think this mo- game this movie like because what it's called and what the game plays like i thought this was gonna have more dog fights and shit yeah and you didn't get a lot of that <laughs> but you know what the thing is for the story it made sense though but yeah you would think yeah this should be ships everywhere like i think the fights should have been more in the ship than it was actually them trying to do things but the the situation of the see that this movie i I liked it because it was actually tense for me yeah like i liked when they were scared that they were going to get seen and then they dropped the nukes on top of them like well that's pretty fucked up yeah how do they make it out of this one and then they had to go through that situation of trying to get off of the planet or whatever that was like yeah asteroid or whatever and then i like the story of them being a part of this giant fleet but they were cut off completely yeah and then the reason it seemed so bleak was because when they show you the enemy they kind of show up and just tear everybody apart in the first place yeah so it's like they built up this fear that you should have of them so i'm like all right but they they also barely showed them in the beginning yeah <laughs> they barely show what they look like yeah. and for a good reason <laughs> they look <sighs> retarded because when you see them it's just like they look almost cute and it's like i can't take this guy seriously <laughs> so like again that's about where the movie 
loses me for a little bit and but but i at least stayed in like i will say for this movie i didn't have to like i didn't feel obligated to to stop watching it or do anything else or anything. i just watched it all the way through so okay. like, right. it was fine it was it was actually a perfectly serviceable movie but if you had told me this was sci-fi i would believe it that yeah, like it had a sci-fi budget. That's for damn sure. I would accept this movie more if it was a sci-fi movie. I would, or I would accept the movie more if it was earlier, and if maybe maybe it was in production for a long time. But it looks like because it came out in '99. The other movies that were being made that came out earlier than this look way better. So yeah. it's either they didn't have the money, which I fit, which I, which might be a thing. Yeah. It's a video game movie. I I can say you know what. Win Commander is not big budget. There's not a ton of people throwing money into it, and it didn't look like it. So yeah, that, I agree. that might have been a real factor. Yeah, but it's just like ninety. You said ninety seven Starship Troopers, and I was like, God damn. Yeah, and that that movie. Honestly, I I feel like if they had a little bit of what Starship Troopers did with this movie, I think I would have enjoyed it more. Yeah, in that sense, like I, it, it didn't have the action. It did have the drama. It did have like the character building. At least it had that. Like it. They try to build a story within the characters. I'll, I'll be honest, like I didn't. There was no character I really couldn't stand for the wrong reason. I had issues with Freddie Prince's character a few really? times. I okay. just, I just felt he was a bland character. Well, and I think Matthew Lillard and the the, the the black chick. I think them two were my favorite characters just because they were fucking crazy, and they just did like shit the, to to get adrenaline off of each other and things like that. So I thought that actually was pretty cool. I like the captain, the the undercover guy. Yeah. The, the, he's not French, he's like Turkish. I yeah. looked him up. Um, but like the guy who was in charge of the, the, the ship he was on in the beginning, yeah, that guy, like he was a cool character. Yeah. Um, like, but nobody, I no, I, I didn't, I didn't mind Freddie Prince. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. He was kind of what you call white meat baby face, kind yeah, of vanilla. Yeah, but he was. I thought at least he had the character trait of being young and naive. Yeah. He just blatantly said, I don't know, like a lot of stuff. Yeah. But the one thing we, they, uh, they basically made sure to drill into your head was that he's a really good pilot. Yeah. So at least it wasn't like he was like white savior, you know, uh, plot armor. Oh, yeah. no, he's just magically good because he believes. Like, no, 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 they can... It lets you know he's hot. he's actually got a rank, and he's a really good pilot. Yo, so, where, where, to the fact that you said I gotta believe, I was like, yo, where's our power rapper, the rapper movie? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, para- <laughs> it turns out power rapper, the actual person, is kind of a, uh, may or may not be a scumbag. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, the voice, the original voice. Anyway. Yeah. So you so, don't believe. Yeah, so there might be some issues. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. There might be some issues, yeah. but um, no, no, no. I, I, give, I could definitely see what you're talking about, but yeah, yeah I didn't mind it too. I, I just, I was okay with it. You know, it was like the acting was good enough for me. That yeah. everybody was like, it was all right. It was all like right. the movie was all right. Like it was, it was a passable. Like say for instance, I catch it on like if I would have catch it on sci-fi kind of shit, I would watch yeah. it. it. It seemed interesting enough for me to get a story in. I got the gist of the story. They told a good story for what it was. It's just like the execution, especially with the aliens and shit like that. Like the aliens looked retarded, and then like some of the action scenes, like it was like it was nitpicking with it because it was just like eh, it wasn't like satisfying with that. Yeah, the, the CG and the ships and yeah. stuff. It was like, mm, and again, like I'm thinking Wing right. Commander. I remember playing Wing Commander, and it's a lot of dog fights. It's it's a dog fight kind of game with story. It has a storyline and everything like that. Kind of has like RPG elements in that way, but it's all about dog fighting and shit. And you did not see there was not much. Was they they flew fights. shit, but that was about it. There was like one scene where yeah. they had a big dog fight, and that was it. And, and that kind of bothers me because he's saying he's such a good pilot and this and that. I, I want to see you actually fly a ship. <laughs> well, he, but they used him to do the, the impossible jumps and stuff. Yeah, so. like they didn't. He didn't go to waste. Yeah, to waste. that was my own. Like I would have liked more dog fights in this game movie of what it was. 
Mm. Other than that, like it did feel long at times, but then again, that's because the drama and it was more of talking. It was more building the story and stuff like that. So I understand that point. But yeah, I felt like maybe 20 minutes of this movie could have been shaved off in a way because I felt like they explained certain things um, enough that yeah. didn't have to keep going on. like it was like beating beating it with a, a dead stick kind of shit well I think the only part you could have cut was like I said if they did that scene where they boarded to get the batteries different yeah cause it's just they just look so bad yeah I thought it was hilarious but um uh, but they, they did spawn sequels like the movie actually has sequels to it <laughs> it's fucking censors but they did not come out in the theaters so they don't count yeah so we don't get to so watch them we're we not gonna watch those I'm a little sad because there's one with uh with, uh, with uh, Mark Hamill, so there's a chance that it could be a good movie. Well, you could you could always you could always make an exception. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there was a television series. Really? On USA, Wing oh. Commander Academy. How did you not be on the Sci-Fi Channel? Come 1996. On. Hmm. Sci-Fi was back in '96, right? Mm, yeah. Sci-Fi was out for a long time. So how could you not be on the Sci-Fi Channel? Yeah. Damn you. Uh, novels, TV series, films. So films. Uh, it only says it only counts one as a film. The rest are just the game. Okay. The oh. games spawn a bunch of sequels. So the games have four parts. I think the game itself is the one with Mark Hamill, and he's actually an oh. actor in it. Okay, so, that's so it's not, not a movie. Right. So it's not a movie. There's only one movie. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's so good. one movie, TV series. Series, series. So now we have to watch Tomb Raider. You said Tomb Raider is next. Not not a Uwe Boll movie, no. right? Lala Croft Tomb Raider is Lala Croft Tomb Raider, and then Resident Evil. Those are the next two movies are on our verdicts. Yes, I didn't mind the first Resident Evil. I thought it was okay. Yeah, but I will see when I pay attention to it. One hundred percent now. Yeah. Cause not just yeah. Sometimes you just see some shit. I still remember the part where Michelle Rodriguez's character was in that tunnel in the sewer full yeah. of zombies, and like she fell. I love. <laughs> and they, they thought you th- and they did it back then. That that started the trope with her character. Yeah. Of you thought she died, and then she just tur- she just turns up somewhere else. So right. our next one is Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Uh, then Resident Evil, then Law of Croft Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life, and then the we're topping off probably the, the be the end of the month, House of the Dead. There's nothing between these two Tomb Raider movies. Wow. Uh, yeah. So were they like a year after each other? Resident Evil. Yeah, Resident Evil is between Law of Croft one and two. Okay. And they split it uh, two years. So, Lola Croft Tomb Raider is 2001, and then the second one was 2003. Okay, gotcha. And then we're going to get a lot of shitload of Resident Evil movies. Ooh, that was not good. Yeah, so. Yeah, so next is Lola Croft Tomb Raider. They're not all bad, but they're not good. They're not good. Yeah. This, I think this movie is probably the, the highest grossing. Which movie? Uh, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider? Lola Croft Tomb Raider. Of what? Of all the video game movies. No, can't be. Actually, Sonic no. Beat that? It wasn't. What? Well, how Sonic do? <laughs> yeah, did Sonic beat that? Well, Sonic had a create a weird fucking situation when it came out. But did it actually beat that? Because it can't be. Tomb yeah, Raider. it did. Yeah, it was not Tomb Raider. Uh, Sonic beat uh, 300, 306 million worldwide. Detective Pikachu, I think, is the highest grossing. Oh, so yeah, even before that. It's I mean, 433, yeah. Yeah, so it can't be. It's it can't up there, be. though. It's one of them. Oh, I was man. just looking at the numbers. The power of just having Angelina Jolie in a movie, huh? Yeah. How about that? Yeah. What was the what was the least grossing movie of all these? <laughs> Probably Mortal Kombat and Knowledge. No, it has to be one of the Uwe Boll movies. It has to be... One of the ones I maybe one of the ones I said. Postal. That was the first one. Oh, uh, let's see Postal. Yo, Postal didn't even go to a million. Oh, jeez. 
No, dead dead trigger. Dead trigger is the lowest. Excuse me, one. what is that? Dead trigger is with Dolph Lundgren. It made ninety two thousand dollars. What game is that? It's a Japanese game. But it came it had its own American movie. What? Well, dead trigger. I don't know what kind of game is that. But I know Dolph Lundgren's in it. Okay. Well. That's one of the later movies. And it's an Uwe Boll movie? No, nah, it's a phone game, actually. <laughs> okay, that's that makes it even funnier. Yeah, Dolph Lundgren's in it. Damn, that... Wait, didn't... didn't no, uh, you can't count them because it's... Anime. Well, I guess you have to count the entire video game spectrum. Didn't... Isn't there a, uh, a movie about the, the... The phone game? Well, the, uh, Angry Birds. Yeah. They have a movie, yeah. Like, <laughs> Did that make a lot of money? Yeah, and Reg- but uh, the highest grossing video game movie. Actually, I think Sonic, the, the list I have is not updated. I think Sonic hit oh, about 500 million, but again, the situation kind of fucked everything up as well. What happened to Sonic? Well, it's Sonic came out during the freaking when everyone had to go to quarantine. Sonic was out for a while. It was okay. out fe- in the middle of February, and people stopped, uh, they started closing movie theaters in the beginning of March. But that already made mad money in the opening It had two weekend, weeks right? to make money. Oh, really? That sucks. Yeah. Oh, man. So Sonic came That's out, nice. like, on a bad a bad time, but it did well. Mm-hmm. They're spawning mm-hmm. a trilogy for it, so at least you get that. And it teased. It teased a lot of shit, so you probably get that down the road. Oh, okay. Well, you know, hey. Listen. He's got. You could just tease one character for every movie, and you got another movie. That is true. That's basically what his games are like. Hey, yep. one of the character, boom! All right. As long as we don't get Big the Cat, I'm good. Uh well, you have to get Big the Cat. No. If you get Amy, if you get Amy Rose in a movie, you're gonna have to get. Big I don't want Amy Rose either. <laughs> I don't want her either. But they, listen, just girls want, want Amy Rose in the movie. So. Just want knuckles and tails. That's it. They're gonna get Amy Rose if look if Shadows in a movie, it's a wrap. I don't even want Shadow in it. Uh, it's not about what you want. No more. <laughs> <laughs> there's people. There's people at, at there's dark forces that control here. Can't we just have basic Sonic? Just classic no, Sonic. They want. They want everything. They I want, want everything all. that's not adventure. I want they everything want, before they adventure. Want all their OCs to be in the movie. <laughs> uh, I'll see Metal Sonic before we see. Uh, I mean, he should. He should be in the second movie, right? Yeah, you think? It's gonna be fun. You I can't wait to get to that. Nobody. Movie. People don't remember that Metal Sonic is in the first game. It just looks really funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually just a chunky Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> it's a chunky robot. Oh, shit. Everybody likes the one from 2, the cool looking one, but the, yeah. Ah. Yeah. So oh, you know what? He should be. He should be a retro character that comes back. Yeah. Chunky, chunky Robo Sonic. Yeah. I'll take Maybe that. he'd be like the Mark 1. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, almost the same color scheme. Yeah. Yeah. Is. Maybe like Mark One, and then they make the updated version. Oh, the cool one was in three. My bad. My yeah. Bad. Um. Last but not least. So, uh, we did our episode so, two. Yeah, we didn't grade the movie. You gotta, you gotta give a grade. Oh, great. credit rate, what, rate what you, movie. Stars. What, what are we doing? We we'll do uh, out of five. Uh, uh, three out of five. Three out of five. I enjoyed what I watched. I didn't look away, so it was okay. I'll give it two, two and a half. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't like. I I liked it and didn't like it. I, but it it wasn't Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Thank God. Yeah. Oh Let's boy. See. So um, where's this leaves? Uh, where this ranks up right now? It's at the bottom. Yeah. For everything that's not Annihilation. Yeah. Yeah, I think Annihilation is like underneath it, and then everything else is over it. Yeah, everything else is up there. Okay. Mortal Kombat's still the top, so. Yep, yep. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I, I actually have a feeling that that's, you know, it's going to take a while for that one to leave the top. I mean, I might be surprised. I never know. Yeah. U- Uwe Boll might, he might tempt me. <laughs> uh, I might just keep loving again, and it might be a masterpiece. I yeah. Know. Let's see. We'll see. Um, we did the Game of Rage podcast episode two. Um, 
I kind of want to get you um, to say because we were talking about our top five NES games. Mm-hmm. So, do you remember your NES time? Or yeah, because I, I I had an NES for a long ass time, even after it was gone. Yeah, because I got I kind of ended up getting it. I messed myself up by getting impressed by my neighbors having the Sega Genesis because mm-hmm. I never seen it before, so I wanted one. So I, I got a Nintendo first when I could have got a Genesis first. Yeah, and then I got a Genesis when I could have got a Super Nintendo. Okay, but I would have missed out on an NES. So I had a Genesis, a Nintendo, like late in the lifespan. Super Nintendo was already out and stuff. Okay. So what are your top five NES games? In Nintendo games? Yeah. Number five for most fun, uh, Yoshi's Cookie. Okay. Nobody ever plays that game because it was like, uh, we stopped playing it because, again, it was really, really late. Mm-hmm. But if you actually sit there and play it, and the, and the music was actually pretty good. Um, I played it. Uh, it's it on right. the Switch right now. Like, if you yeah, have the, that's the online stuff on the Switch, you, it, it's a free one of the free games. That's interesting. Okay. That's fun. Um, number four would be Dr. Mario. Okay. Another puzzle game. Uh, I never had Tetris on Nintendo. I only had it on Game Boy. So, these two were the only puzzle games I played. Okay. Um, number three. And see, this is where things take a turn because I had a Game Genie. So, I wasn't exactly playing... (laughs) I wasn't exactly playing every game fair. Mm-hmm. Like at some point, I just beat all the games I had because okay, I had an interesting situation. We talk about a friend of mine. I guess he was either moving or got in trouble. I think he was moving, and for some reason, he had to give up all his Nintendo games. Don't ask me why. Uh, that's the only reason I got. So he ended up giving me like twenty Nintendo games. Okay. There's a lot of stuff I never heard of. Uh, Renegade, like, uh, damn, what was that? what was another one? He didn't give me Kickmaster. I got that for my birthday. <laughs> you ever heard of Kickmaster? Yes. It was yes, all right. It was all right. Um, so I had long story short, I had a lot of Nintendo games that I got to beat only with Game Genie. Okay. So I, a lot of the games I liked them more than most people because they weren't hard. <laughs> um, so number three, um, um, mm, yeah, three would be Mario Two. Okay. Uh, I really like the music in that game, and it's really fun. Um, number two would be Shatterhand. That was a good one. Action, like a little kind of like an action. Yeah, you know what? Two has to be tied, it has to be Shatterhand and Double Dragon 3. Okay, because I have played I, I played that game co op with like a family member of mine. I had mad fun because she was just saying random stuff, <laughs> <laughs> and I told the story like it, it almost it made me pee on my because I laughed so hard. I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> she kept doing it on purpose, like she kept saying. That these bald headed guys were bald billies, but she had an accent, and her accent was killing me, dude. <laughs> so it was just like, yo, I can't handle this. Yeah, and that was that was fun, but that game was good. I love playing as a ninja and uh, the fat man, the fat Chinese man with the claw. <laughs> yeah, Double Dragon is cool. Um, and Shadowhand, I said, was really cool. I still like the system. It's funny whenever I see somebody play it retro, retroactively. They always play it wrong. Yeah. The funny thing about that game is that you're a super. It's a. It's made from an old Super Sentai game. Yeah, it is. And when you there's a there's a gimmick to the game that nobody gets is that when you when you make the little symbols for the the the, the helpers. Yeah. That you're not supposed to just do random ones every time you get it. You do the same one twice. If you do the same one you just did twice, you become the Super Sentai guy. Yeah. Like the bodysuit and the armor and stuff, you look kind of like the guy because they changed it a little bit. Okay. And it's like you do like these punches. Real. It's, it's a cool fucking game, dude. Yeah. Um, and, I and the music it. is really good. I remember like, renting it. Yeah, that was one of the games. I, I, I got that as a as a birthday gift. Cool. 
That was a random one. Just what, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> it has the most generic Nintendo box art ever. Yes, it does. Yes. Um, and favorite is, is Super Mario Bros. Three. Yeah. That's yeah. It's just really good. Yeah, I love that game. The music, the the powers they gave Mario. What, yo, the P wing, son. Yeah. P wing. P wing. P wing and hammer suit all day. <laughs> um. Yeah. Huh? I love Giant World. I like I I like Cloud World. Yeah. I know everybody hates that stage. Uh, um. I love all the like the, the cool secrets in it, the whistles and all that stuff. Like that's a really cool man. Yeah. Those whistles are from, are from Zelda, man. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. I I think that was uh consistent. That was the one game that we all have in common. Number one was Super Mario Three. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, if you can listen Do you have to, a worse game? I have one. Um, Spy oh boy, versus what? Spy. You, ha- I love that game. I hate what? It. <laughs> Yo, I love. I wish I had somebody to play it with because I figured out. You know, you know what? No, you know, let me cut that. I hated um, WrestleMania. That's pretty bad. I didn't like that game. That was pretty bad. Doesn't there an Ultimate Muscle game that was better than that? Yes, I think it was. But yes, I remember playing it. I was like, "Oh, this is actually fun." Like, yeah, yeah, that's something yourself. Um, my least favorite game also got this for a birthday present was Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout. That was a bad game. <laughs> the AVGN made a video about that game and deservedly so. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. One, of, it's an LJN game too. That's <laughs> always a fucking LJN. <laughs> yeah, it's real bad. So yeah, we have a preview uh, game of Rage podcast episode two will be sometime this later this month. Um, we did our challenges and all that stuff, so it'd be interesting to listen to. You definitely check it out. I gotta play Paperboy. Where am I gonna get Paperboy? I don't know. I gotta play. <laughs> that should be on the eShop, right? Yeah, it probably is. Um, also, we have a new uh, the Morphin Cast. We did the uh, Shinju Sentai Gigamon, uh, which is Lost Galaxy. So that uh, stay tuned to that as well. Also, plus the uh, Shell Shock for movie three and um, our shoot the shit of the all three movies. So there's lots that's yeah. good. Looking forward to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Please stay tuned. Wrap it up. Uh, thank you for listening. This is the. This has been another episode of the It Gets Better by Square podcast. Make sure you check us out anywhere and everywhere. Red Cyclone Inc. That's Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and SoundCloud. We can catch the Wrestling Battle podcast. Also on the YouTube, you can catch my playthroughs of Monster Hunter Random. Uh, just the, the concept of it is because of the way the game works. It's just... Playing a game with random strangers introduces a different element. Yeah. So it's not like you're playing with a team. So it's like you get a different fight every time. So that's what it is. Cool. Um, so it's randoms with randoms. Um, and Monster Hunter World, Iceborne. Um, I'll probably be put. Maybe I'll do a playthrough of um, Streets of Rage 4. Nice. Maybe on a normal. I'll try to beat it. With, I, could, I could beat that game while I continue. That's, that's not all right. I need to do the achievement to be it by myself on hard, but I want to do it on with co-op because I can't do that shit. It's yeah, just, they only give you one life to start with, and you have to earn. More. And it's arcade mode too. And yeah, if you die, it's over. And yeah. it's been fun trying to find people to get there. Like I got to the last stage with somebody. Yeah. Last stage, and there's just one room. It's like a fucking kill room. Like it's fun. So maybe we should try it out again, Mark. May maybe. <laughs> Um, definitely, definitely. So where, where you at, Mark? Uh, you can find me on all social medias: uh, Tumblr, Twitter, uh, YouTube, um, Instagram, SoundCloud, and Twitch TV. All Mark with the mic. You can find our Facebook pages, the Wrestling Clinic and the Wrestling Babble pages. We're very active on there. And um, that's about it. All right. Thank you for listening. And make sure you follow the Jinkies. Yes. With a sandwich and a mask and some gloves. Yes. And happy Mother's Day to all the mommies. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mom- Mother's Day to Jinky's lady. Don't see, he still can't have sandwiches though. Oh. Oh. So no now, bread. Now we're, now we're gonna. Put, now we're just gonna put his wife in the spot. 
So he slapped that sandwich on his mom. Slap him with, <laughs> hit him with a rat from behind. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, happy Mother's Day, everyone, and peace out. Laters.